Hey everyone, this is Night in the Woods, part 14, Greg's route. Let's go on ahead and finish our errands for the day. Let me do more of Greg's route. Let's see. Yeah. Here you go, okay, we are up on the rooftops now, where we should be. Favorite place to be. Okay, uh... So we're not going to talk to Lori M yet. We're going to go ahead and give those pretzels out. Just so we can get that out of the way and I don't have to climb all the way down to this spot. Or possibly miss it because I've done that before. Where I like, I've missed it. And I've had to go ahead and climb all the way back up. I know it doesn't take that much work but it just adds on those unnecessary seconds to the editing process. Okay, take your pretzels, childrens. All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. I think there's four now. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. I wanted to get it in one go. Oh. Wow. There's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I don't see a lot of rats. I love you, miracle rats. I don't see a lot of rats when I walk down the street. And again, I don't go outside very often, so... Yeah, even before all of this extra, I, um... I just went to work and went home. And that was all I did. That's all I ever wanted to do. Uh, I realize it's kind of stale, but it's... That was just my purpose. For a good minute. But I think what this uh, this whole drama with the world go oh there's there, there's doggy there okay I think what we can grasp from like the whole drama in this world right now is just I don't know find a new purpose or maybe you just have a greater purpose do something else in other words ah no well, it looks like my purpose is climbing back up there again. Hold up. Sup, Lori? Hey, kid, what you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you wanna come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me answer before you decide I said no. Oh, okay. Did you wanna go? Sure. Actually, I can't. No, we're totally going. I'm not going to do that to Lori. Sure. Oh, good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. I can't even imagine saying no to this girl. Wow, been here. Been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights from last year still up. <laughs> Someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year, and we left them out for too long, and they, like, liquefied. Gross. Oh, yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. I was so mad at Dad. And it was his job to get rid of them. He had to, like, mop it up. <laughs> I've seen, a, like, a time-lapse video of when a corpse decays, and, like... Everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. <laughs> yup. Okay, so like, a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. A little metal dude. This is so dangerous. You're just putting your legs on the tracks. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. Hopefully not with your legs on the tracks. That sounds dangerous. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that where you're so excited you go to sleep? Coffee makes me sleepy. I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. Coffee makes me sleepy. <laughs> it was. 
Guilty. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes. But sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business right there. Yeah, you're gonna get run over by a train. <laughs> they just lift their legs up as the train goes by. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, that's... Oh, I couldn't do that. Uh, anxiety. I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go sleep in the woods. Or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day. And only come out at night. And be like, a monster. And like, beautiful. I know the feeling. Those are like, really attainable dreams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. Aww. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. <laughs> We're gonna do this again? Oh, that's just crazy. Oh, oh, oh my god. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. no. Being surrounded like that. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. My heart is racing. Oh. Whoa. Yay. Your little metal guy is all. Wow. He represents the human soul. Y you mean squashed by trains, yes. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, okay, okay. Let's roll. Oh my god. Dangerous train shit. See ya. Dead. Okay. Glory M. Horror movies, trains. But yeah, no, Lori is cool. I, I love interacting with Lori. Lori has a lot of interesting dialogue as well. I don't really... I, I get, like I've said, I don't think there's a single character in this game that I particularly dislike. I just... And even if I do, it's not in a, oh my god, this is a poorly written character way. It's a, oh my god, this character is so annoying. Like, they wrote them really well as being annoying. Oh, cat dude. Hey dude, hello. How's work going here? Well, yeah, yeah, you know what, it's fine, I, I basically said it right. Eh, I don't know, it pays. I like refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Nice. Hey man, how's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. Oh, you have like a giant saw over your head. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like, super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees, plus a store owner. Modern America, guys. <laughs> but people don't want to hear that conversation. Even though I'm one employee, I do, and I do not own this store. Oh weird, I thought for some reason you own this place now. You think. But also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Uh, anyway, I'm not doing anything tonight. I can do nothing too. Hmm. Fine. So are we doing this? Not sure. Got a got a couple other stops to make. 
Okay. Sorry, B. This is not your story. But when it is, I promise you, I will probably cry. I'm not even kidding, I'm probably going to cry. I, I don't know if I'll edit that out or not, or... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna cry playing B's story. <laughs> B makes me really emotional, so... Yeah, we'll see. Hey, man. Angus, how's Video Land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. Got a favorite? Well, if we're talking about favorites, um, I really like War of the Worlds. And God, there's another one. I have it in my head. I'm forgetting it. Fudge. No, I can't do this. Oh yeah, Cloverfield. I really love Cloverfield. I love found footage movies. They're so cool. Got a favorite? What? Horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath. Black Oaks. Black Oaks! Oh nice. Witchy. It's like Blair Witch. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that one's like... Historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye! Okay, let's... Crime Waves. Oh, God. I feel like I read that title already. Swamp Husband. What is that? Is that Shrek? Is Swamp Husband Shrek? Has to be, right? Like, it has to be Shrek. Oh. Well, who are you? What's that on their chest? Looks like some D&D &D stuff. Okay. Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were, like, in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I know you? I used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell. Across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. But no, just visiting family. Husband's uh, bleh, husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. It's the best way to rob a bank. It's the best way to get out of jail. Well, it depends on the situation. You see, like, would you dig a wall through a wall or, like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or, like, I don't know, cause a riot or something? Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, I don't, we don't really learn this stuff in law school. What's the point of going to college if you don't learn the useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit, bye. Uh, see ya. Uh, yeah, I get... I get pretty intense, too. That's why I, like, try not to talk that much to people, because I frighten them. Sunny again, thank goodness. Smelters would do something else and blah blah blah, something like that, right? What's got you down? Uh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, ghost smelters, right? Yeah, ghost smelters. Awkward. Had that neck brace for a while. Hope you're okay, person. Okay, let's. Okay, one, two. Actually, they have red eyes, so I think they're spaced out. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah. I will get higher up one day. One day! I'll do it! I'm not gonna do it. I don't care. Well, let's get to that video. Outpost 2 thingy. Hey, friend. What's in the news? 
Uh, Quantrax closing down next month. Laying off blast. 24 people. 24 people? That's nobody left. What's that? Place out past brittles. Assembles computer, tiny computer doodads. Yeah, just 24 people. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, when I... Someone I knew's mom worked there. Real small work. Bad on the fingers after a while. I bagged grocery stores for a while. How's that? You put the cold, he you, you put the cold heavy stuff on the bottom, and the veggies and fruit, and the bread on the top. Well, looks like you got it all figured out. My mom would love May because my mom is convinced that nobody knows how to bag groceries in her area, so fair enough. Okay, we're gonna one, two, three. I don't like mom, they're they're doing their best. She's like, no, no they're not. They bag groceries horribly. And I'm like Mom, come on, please. <laughs> She's like, Nope. They're bad. They're awful. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Everyone's doing their best. <laughs> no, it's, it's, yeah. They always stick her bread at the bottom and I know it pisses her off. Yeah. Like, y'all need to know. Bread does not go on the bottom. Hey, Jerm. Hey, oh, okay. Hey. Wanna hang out? I don't know, supposed to hang out with Gregor B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. No. Yes. Okay. What do you want to do? Follow me. We're here. We're in the parking lot. Yep. We walked for like 15 seconds. It's really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You can see like a lot of, you can see like all the sky here. Oh wow, you can. Okay, seriously, we're just looking at the parking lot? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes in the morning? If you're up on the hill back there? A whole bunch of fog passes over the lots. And it's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? Railroads, jobs, stores. There was the food donkey. And the old second hand store. And the shoe store. There used to be a record store back here somewhere. All gone now though. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty. I love it. Hmm. You know, if they ever do anything with this in a bunch of years, it's gonna be like regular ground. Wait, if they never. I think they said it if they never. My bad. Wow. What's gonna happen to the parking lot? I mean, the parking lot part of the parking lot. Eight years old. It waits you out. Yeah. It does. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. What? Let's go. Hey. So I've been having... I have to go now. Bye. Germ. Yeah. Nature will wait you out. Long after I'm done, long after everyone else around us is done, it'll still be here. Just a matter of time. And for some reason that makes me feel good. That, you know, everything that we've all went through it's not going to last forever. One day it just won't exist at all. And neither will we. And it'll be like different problems. For different reasons and different things. It just won't be our issues anymore. Or it won't be our successes. 
the world just moves on, and that's okay. Uh, on that note, uh, okay. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, because it's always the last half of the the running through the overworld that's kind of short. But let's let's look at what. Oh, all right. Well, that's kind of ominous. Thanks, Germ. Anyways, hope you guys had a nice time. Next time we're gonna go ahead and talk to Greg. And uh, if you like the video, you know, do the thing that you gotta do. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, Peanut loves every single one of you. Bye.